What about love? Or didn't that mean anything? Not enough. To whom? Sue Ellen or you? That's not fair. Fair? Oh, I know you, Cliff. You were worried about the scandal and what it would do to your precious political career. Sue Ellen wasn't worth that. Well, I've got to do something. I've got to help her. If you want to help, then you have to commit. You have to give all the way and give up everything for Sue Ellen. And if you can't do that, then stay the hell away from her. Maybe you haven't heard, J.R. Bobby's not standing at stud anymore. He retired when we got married. He left the field wide open for you. Of course, from what I hear, that still leaves the field wide open. Any time you want to find out. Easily rain. Don't bother, Jerry. Even if I weren't married to Bobby, you aren't man enough. Well, I'm certainly man enough for me and Sue Ellen to produce a son and heir. Something which you and Bobby seem capable of. Sue Ellen and Cliff. Pam, you have no right to tell me what to do. I have every right. You're a troublemaker, Catherine. And Bobby's in no condition for your antics. I don't live by your rules. I'm a big girl. And Bobby's a free man. I have every right to see him. Doesn't it penetrate, Catherine, that he's very sick? Oh, he's not that sick. I called the hospital and they told me he's recovering nicely. Did they tell you that he's blind? Catherine, go back to Houston and stay out of our lives. Granddaddy believes everything I tell him. Well, the letters from the school, he's going to believe they were lost in the mail, if that's what I tell him. And when I get copies of the letters, he's going to believe those are lies? Sure. Sweetie, that's a set of lies only an imbecile would believe. You're not really going to tell him, are you? Oh, I really am. And I'm really going to get copies of those letters. Why? Why do you care? Because I'm a Ewing now. This family is so full of guilt because your daddy ran away. They let you run wild. Well, baby face, that won't work with me. All right. I love Bobby, and I want him. What do you want? Bobby? Bobby? We're a husband and a father for your child. Some security. With Bobby, I get them all. I prefer you got it with somebody else. Pamela, why don't you just cut a deck of cards and roll the dice for me? Come on, Bobby. Let's get down to basics. The child. Is Bobby the father of your child? Because if he is, he'll do something about it. But it doesn't mean he's going to leave me for you. You're a drunk, Daddy. You do idiotic, drunken things, and I'm ashamed of you. I don't marry you, Inge. I did. I did, and I'm glad, because Bobby's a decent man. He doesn't smell the way you do, and I don't have to be ashamed of him the way I am of you. I love him, and he loves me, and that's that. The rest we have to put up with. Like he puts up with that frog of a father, the rancher, I have to put up... You don't have to put up with nothing. I do, because you're the only father I have, and I'm not ready to be an orphan. Next to Jock Ewing, you're the most unwholesome man I know. But I love you, and you're not getting rid of me. Is that clear? What the hell are you doing here? Don't you have any respect at all? This is my brother's office. Nobody's supposed to be here. Calm down, J.R. If you want me to go to another office, I'll... I don't want you in the building. Well, that's too bad, because you and I are partners now. That may be so, but I don't want you hanging around here. I'm not hanging around. I'm going to be working here right by your side every day of the week. You can't be serious. What did you think I meant last night at the ball? I don't know what you meant, but I'll tell you what I mean. I don't want you in my sight, much less my offices. And I always get what I want. Your threats aren't going to work. I'm here to stay, so get used to it. Phyllis? Yes? I'd like a cup of tea, a cup of herbal tea, please. You only wanted Sue Ellen to get back at JR. She's all I had. Oh, really? What about Mama? It broke her heart when she fired you. You didn't give her any other choice. And Afton, Afton's crazy about you. She hasn't left this hospital since you came in. And no matter how angry I get at you, I love you. You're my brother. When we were growing up, I thought you were the most wonderful thing that ever happened. Yeah, now? 
Now I know you're just human, like the rest of us. I just want you to go into this marriage with your eyes open. Mark, ever since the day you came back into my life, you warned me that your remission might last a year or 50 years. Well, it's been over a year, and I'm going to hold you to 49 more of them. No regrets? None. The important thing is to live each day to the fullest. And as long as I share them with you, they will be the happiest days of my life. Oh, God. I love you. Did your brother put you up to this, Miss Barnes? Well, I, I don't think that's an unusual question to ask, Miss Barnes. Mrs. Ewing. Excuse me, please. Well, perhaps it'd be more appropriate to ask what sort of settlement you'd require to annul this farce. Let go of my arm. I'm willing to spend some money now to avoid any inconvenience. But if you insist on being driven away, which you surely will be, you're going to come out of this without anything, honey. Cliff and your cousin Jamie want to split up Ewing Oil. And they asked me to join their fight, but I said I wouldn't because of Bobby. Well, that won't stop me anymore. You have no heart. You have no feelings. You can't be hurt like other people. But you have one soft spot, one weakness, and that's Ewing Oil, the only thing you've ever really loved. Well, I'm going to join Cliff, and I'm going to back him up all the way. And Cliff and Jamie and I are going to take your company away from you. And then I'm going to watch you hurt. You want me to slap your wrist and then reassure you that you're still the same wonderful man underneath it all. Well, I'm not going to help you out. You can stay dirty. You don't understand. Understand? I understand that you're not the man I married. The Bobby I love would rather be dead than blackmail a Hicks or anybody else. Double-cross the cartel or force his own mother into court. There were reasons. Reasons? There's only one reason. You would do anything to beat JR and get the company. Anything! Planning to redecorate Silla? What are you doing here? I live here, remember? You keeping up with the latest? You planning to uh, rejoin the working class? Mm -hmm. I find it more honest than waiting for Jock to die so you can become the lady of the manor. You have a disgusting mouth. Oh, I beg your pardon. What was that you were doing up on the stairs? Checking for termites? Tapping a phone's a crime, Bob. And that's not much of a denial. Now, what were you afraid Cliff was going to find out? He's afraid that Cliff's going to find out that the Ewing Empire is built on deceit and downright theft. That's enough of that, Pam. And he'd rather see Cliff dead than have the world find out how really rotten the Ewings are. I'm not here for an apology. Just stay away from my niece. And if I don't, what will you do? Sick the Ewing family on me? Maybe, but I don't think I'll have to. I can take care of people like you myself. Are you threatening me? Yes, I guess you might say that. I don't like threats. Well, then consider it a promise. I see both of us working girls. You settled for what you could have with J.R. and I married Bobby. I did what you were afraid to even try. Listen, will you leave me alone? Maybe way back when, if you'd stood your ground, you could have been Mrs. Ewing. What have you got now, Julie? Nothing. Not even your self-respect. Pam, you don't understand. Oh, but I do understand. And I've had it. I've had it with your explanations, your excuses, your lies, and your fabrications. I am finished. No, wait, you can't do that. Oh, but I can. I am finished. I may love you, but I don't like you. And as far as I'm concerned from now on, I don't have a brother. You have distorted this entire issue. I think you're despicable. We just told the truth, that's all. I'll tell you something. 
I don't know how to play by your rules. But someday I will. And you're going to pay for what you've done to my brother. No, you won't. You won't use any of those rules against me or any other Ewing. You'll do just as we do. You'll use them to protect your own interests. Then God help me. Thank <laughs> you.